Hey guys, and welcome to Mind Time. We're going to get a uh, plot manager going automatically today, where when your computer reboots, it's automatically going to start plot manager, or if your power goes out, or anything of that nature. What's even better is we're going to add in some extra things so that, um, you know, it, it does things like clear the temporary file directory before restarting. So then if it was cut short in the middle of the process, you don't end up with, you know, a bunch of files that aren't being used, which chew up all your space. I know that every time my plotters restarted, I would have to go in, clear out all those files, and then restart it again, just to make sure that those directories didn't fill up with unnecessary files. So we're going to do some cool steps to automate some of those things, so then you don't have to worry about too much of that. <clears throat> so... I got the C drive pulled up and I'm in the Chia folder that we made in previous videos. Inside this folder, I'm going to right click, hit new, and shortcut. Now, I'm going to take a moment to show you some information that we're going to type in here. I have it in this text document here. And <clears throat> I'll explain what we're doing here. We can go and we can start Plot Manager and we can delete those files manually. And it's just a handful of steps that we would take. What we're doing is writing some code that's going to automate those steps. Each step is something we could do in command line and we're going to um, basically put the pieces together so that this executes those steps in order for us. So the first thing we have is that we want to run a program called cmd.exe, which is command line, which is uh, the same thing as pulling this up and typing code in. So once it starts, we're going to use slash k, which is allowing us to run some code. Each piece of code is going to be separated by an and sign. So the first piece of code is cd, and then a directory of uh, where Chia exe is. So we're going to cd, change directory, to, in this case, c slash user slash admin slash blah 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 blah, all the way down to your daemon file folder. The two things that might be different on your system is your username instead of admin, and then also this folder's name, app, um, it might be your current version if you're not on the same version. So once that command runs, then we have the and sign to start the next command. So we have chia stop all. What this is doing is it's running a stop command just in case any chia functions are running and it's going to kill them before we start the next part. After that, we're going to run this command, which is deleting all the folders or all the folders and files inside our chia slash plots folder. That's where we're storing our temporary plots. This is going to delete them before starting the program, just to make sure that we don't have any unused files in there wasting space. The slash s and slash q are there because when you run this command in command line, actually, let me show you. If we don't use these, what will happen is it will prompt us and say, are you sure you want to delete these files? And then we have to type in Y and continue. Um, but we don't want the program to stop and ask us each time. So we keep those there. So again, this is going to delete all the temporary uh, plot files in that folder. After that, we're going to change the directory and go to the SWAR plot manager folder. And then just like when we installed Plot Manager, we had to go to that folder, and then we had to start it, and then we had to view it. So we go there, and then we run the command to start Plot Manager, and then we run the command to view our, um, our Plot Manager information. So I'm going to copy this whole thing, and we're going back to our shortcut, and we're going to paste this in there. And then we're going to hit Next, and we're going to call it whatever we want. Um, so I'm going to call it start plotter. Then we're going to finish. So now if we hit start plotter, we can see it does chia stop all command. 
and then it goes through a couple other commands, um, which were too quick for us to see, and then Python manager start, and then view. And so now it's showing. So now as an example, let's um, look at our plots folder, and we can see it's full of temporary files. And we're going to stop this. Um, and so and then we're going to also go into task manager and kill any Chia processes. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to emulate if your machine restarted, you would have the, the software stopped in the middle. You have a bunch of temporary files here. So now <clears throat> if we can make it so that when your PC starts again, that it um, deletes these, then that would be good. So let's go to Chia. So we have our temporary plot folder here. Let's run start plotter. And we can see that what it did is it went through those steps and then ran through all those files. I'll refresh this. Um, it deleted those files and then instantly it started running a new one, which is why there's still files in here because <clears throat> it deleted the previous ones and then made these to start uh, the new job here. So then just like we went over in the last video, we can now see our job, the elapsed time, progress, how much space it's taking up, our resources that are used, our RAM CPU, our drives, um, and then the additional jobs after this one starts or after this one gets past phase one, we'll continue to list and show. <clears throat> um, next thing we want to do is we want to make sure this automatically starts when we reboot the computer or when the power goes out. So assuming you have AC power loss turned on, which we did in a previous video, when the power goes out, when it comes back on, the computer will turn on. And then you have to do Windows Auto login, which is covered in another video. And then we need the software to start on its own. So this start plotter um, file that we just made, we're going to right click and we're going to do create shortcut. Now we're going to do the windows and R key and we're going to do uh, shell colon startup. This is going to open a folder called the startup folder. And what happens is anything that's in here automatically runs when Windows gets logged in. So we're going to move the shortcut we just made over to that folder. And now what will happen is if our machine turns off or the power goes out, when it comes back on, Windows will automatically run the code that we just created. When it does that, it's going to delete all the old files and it's going to start the plotting process. So no matter what, if the power goes out, if your computer reboots, um, whatever it is, your plotter will automatically start back up, automatically clear that directory, and automatically start the plotting software. So you're always going. Thanks, guys. This has been my time. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and I hope we see you next time. Good luck.